guys, Dan Valamon here with Fanatic Wrestling. Once again, we're out here at Spire Institute, right outside Cleveland, Ohio, for a Team USA National Team Training Camp. And uh, we've been going over a ton of freestyle techniques, specifically in the parterre position this week, learning from uh, some of the greats like Kevin Jackson, Joe Russell, Bill Zadick, um, Bruce Baumgartner, some, some really um, knowledgeable clinicians. And, just going over a, a ton of defense from the parterre position, but also a bunch of offense. And um, right now, with Tony Tolbert, one of my teammates at the Pennsylvania Regions Training Center back in Philadelphia, and uh, he's just gonna go over one of his favorite turns from this parterre position, and one that we've been kind of working on throughout this week as well. So, Tony. All right, guys, so um, I learned this at the PRTC a couple years ago. Um, so this turn is a trapped arm gut with a figure four to his opposite, or to his right leg with a trapped arm to his left arm. So, uh, so Dad's gonna go down flat. So there's a couple ways you can get into this. Um, typically the way that I get into it is I try to lock up a regular gut wrench and I try to take them. Just like Dan, I um, like to gut, like I'm, I'm a righty, so like I, I like to gut uh, from left to right. So let's say I, I, get, my, I get my lock. Dan's got good defense, running, running, trying to, trying to get it, trying to turn them. He's got really good defense, he's really strong here. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna sneak my knee under his hip here. So I, try, I, wanna, I wanna get my foot as close to, to his hip as I possibly can. Cause that really makes it tighter and if, if it's down here, it's gonna be really loose. So I wanna get it as high as I possibly can. Next thing, I wanna take my knee right up the butt here, I'm trying to get him forward, then I want to hook my I want to hook my foot right in the crook of my knee here, right in the bend of my knee here, and then I want to arch up. You don't want to be here because this is really loose, so and he can crawl forward and get his leg out. So knee up the foot. So you want to come here and you want to arch. So um, Coach Slay calls this the skydive position, right? So you want to arch your back. That puts a lot of pressure on his lower back and his hip here. Then the next thing you want to do is you wanna block this arm here. And another thing you can probably do if he's trying to uh, scoot away, you can take this hand, grab his shoulder, and kind of hold yourself in place. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna hop on, on your back foot here, block his arm, you wanna hop, 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 and that way you kind of get his arm trapped under. Next thing, you wanna lock, get your, uh, get your trapped arm, and then you wanna tilt to this side, get your two points, and then you wanna release your figure four, and then you wanna come to the opposite side and take them all the way through on that side. So the reason why you wanna only tilt on the trapped arm side is because with his other hand, he can kinda post and scramble out of there. So uh, uh, face this way, so again, Got my regular gut wrench. I'm trying to take him over. He's really strong. I sneak my leg under him here. Then this knee is going up the butt. My foot is right in the bend of my knee here. I, I curl my back leg. Then I want to arch my back, skydive position. Then I'm going to block his opposite arm. Then I'm going to get on, on this toe and I'm going to hop. So hop, hop, hop. Get that arm trap, then I'm gonna lock up my trapped arm cut, tilt him this way, then release my figure four, run, 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 and then pop him all the way through to the other side. And do you wanna show them one time what'll happen if you two try to go through that side with uh, right. where I can post? Okay. So, that wrench. So, so right here, if Tony tries to roll through, and this can work, and if you do, you have to really explode and drive through your legs, but if you kind of go through slowly here, what Tony's saying is I can post this hand and possibly wrestle from here, because I still have this support. When Tony takes me the other way, I don't have any support there. I don't have anything to defend myself. So it's tempting to go to that side because that's where your momentum's taking you at the beginning. But like Tony was saying, when he's teaching and it's good, just go for your tilt there. Don't roll the whole way through. You get your tilt, you get two points, 
and then adjust, take that leg out, keep that trapped arm, and roll through the other way, and you can end the match really quick. But you have to be careful going to that same side where I still have my, my arm out to defend. You can do it, it's possible, but if I would recommend that you go the other way, specifically for that reason, because you have guys that have funky hips, and if there's any space there, they'll post that hand and be able to hip through. Um, one other thing Tony's doing here too that's really good, um, go ahead and uh, go from this side again, okay. is this isn't necessarily, this isn't a strength thing. When he's blocking my arm here, he's driving off his toe, he's not pulling my arm to him, he's driving my body over the top. He's picking my hips up with his hips and driving my own body over this arm. He's not just muscling it in there, he's actually pulling, using his body to drive myself over my own arm. And then he has my arm trapped. And then from here, go ahead and finish. Good tilt, takes the leg out, and gets his turn. So, it's important that you realize that we're not just trying to pull his arm in, driving the bottom man's body over top of that arm, all right? You're not gonna necessarily be able to just pull a really strong guy's arm in toward his body there and get a trap arm. We need to use our hips and our legs to drive his body over top of that and secure that lock. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. One thing, too, I want to give a shout-out to my buddy Dan Tramatozzi with Pin Cancer. Check out his foundation. He's doing some really great stuff. Um, thanks, Tony, for showing this technique. Guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, make sure you do it, Fanatic Wrestling. Um, tons of free content just like this video out there to check out. Also, make sure you go to our website, fanaticwrestling.com, bjjfanatics.com, to check out our full-length instructionals. Um, if you haven't done so already, uh, make sure you join our Facebook group, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.